What about leaky gut? Is this a real phenomena for the general public? Obviously, in the intensive care unit where they've lost their mucosal service, they've had low flow ischemia, maybe they've had injury to the gut, radiation, chemotherapy. What about leaky gut in general? Do you think this gives people chronic fatigue? Or, I mean, your work on UC 118, lactobacillus salivarius, is fabulous mm -hmm. on you know the hydrogen peroxide model showing you can maintain it, maintain the tight junction, mm -hmm. maintain the integrity of the gut. But does that extrapolate to the general public? I think there's more research uh, needed to, to understand the role. Um, there is s some evidence, but I, I, think we, I think we're not quite there yet um, on establishing in the general population uh, the role of intestinal permeability. There is some nice signs emerging um, to do with, let's say, a change in the microbiota and a, uh, and a change in um, being associated then with an increase in uh, lipopolysaccharide, which tran you know which transfers over, and the, the, the this lipopolysaccharide LPS can then act as a trigger uh, for inflammation. And uh, let's say in, in, in diabetes, um, it's suggested that the um, LPS may be part of the mechanism that tri triggers inflammation, which has been linked. Yeah. I have my doubt, doubts about it. Uh, it's a popular th term. Right. Made Time Magazine. People like the sound of it. Yeah. Um, and it's being used to explain a lot of things, such as uh, liver disease from uh, alcoholism, um, the notion going that this is uptake of bacterial products that are effectively toxic and they cause damage to, to the liver. And we do know that when the liver fails, we can see the effects of that, right. those toxins on the brain. But I think for the average person walking around, I, I, I find it hard to believe that that's mm -hmm. an adequate explanation for not feeling great on a particular day. I, I just, I, I think it's a convenient explanation, yeah. prone to problem. loose talk. Okay. And, uh, but I'm willing to be, to be convinced <coughs> either way, but I'd need to see good science to look at it. Mm. What are your thoughts? Leaky gut, does it exist? From the acute care perspective, I think it's discussed quite a bit. Um, this leaky gut and uh, again you know being a clinician always looking for the science and wondering about those specific strains and that's that's where I am looking for the education and the knowledge on on those aspects I think there's a difference between the average person on an average day walking around versus the intensive care unit mm -hmm. patient like th that Melissa sees. Mm -hmm. That's a situation where she really does see oh, yeah, a leaky, no mm -hmm. a compromised gut where not, nothing's working right, probably because of shock and mm -hmm. uh, lack of blood supply to the gut. That's a, that's a different yeah, thing right. to what and you're referring to, I right. think, than right. leaky mm -hmm. gut. Yeah, I, I'm, we know what happens in the ICU mm -hmm. setting or trauma setting, but the question is really, is it for the general public, is it out there? It seems to be very popular, and even the term leaky gut, I think, is a bit loose. I prefer intestinal permeability or barrier mm -hmm. function. I think it's just got more yeah. scientific Sure. I'm just association. quoting Time Magazine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think it needs to be, like, bedded down. I just don't feel that um, uh, the science is, is, is strong enough yet.